and a happy merry holly jolly vlogmas to you all tonight we're going to do a little, something a little different we've been talking about you know theme park decorations and these kind of traditions and our own personal traditions but there's a tradition that i find awesome by a couple of awesome people who are already on the screen because i'm not as good at this as they are <laughs> um <laughs> When they already have more things going on, I'm talking about Dillo's Diz, and they have their podcasts, they have vlogs, they have they have it all, and we follow it all. Um, we'll let them tell you all the places you can go find them. I'll put links up at the end of the video. But tonight, unless Val has any Val has anything else he wants to say about them before we introduce them individually. And so, oh, they're awesome, He's Jen, wait, wait, yeah. Frank. I just Yay. Wave. Yay. I'm trying to wave, but my hand's disappearing. <laughs> yeah, Hi. I stopped trying that when my white hair. See, once you get, once you get actually old, and your hair kind of matches the the, the wall behind you, <laughs> it's as bad as riding Spaceship Earth. Okay? And then you have the face and the. Oh, they did really good with Mickey. I'll show you a picture of that. Right. Okay. And just keep in mind, I was losing I was losing a great deal of my hair, but shaving it clean was my way of winning. I was not going to let it go gray and I was not gonna let it go to the point of no return. So shaving yes. it is because I want to win. Yeah, Lewis went gray like in his 30s. So he's been gray for a super long time. I have still yet to go gray. I don't color my hair. What? That's and amazing. no, never have. And nobody believes me, but I haven't. But it, it does make for some fun. Like our neighbors the other day was like, oh, you moved into the neighborhood. That's your grandfather? That, that you, oh. you, you, you. I was like, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, if I no. wasn't the one who took care of the bills in this house, <laughs> I wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Oh, COVID's no. been hard on both of us in that <laughs> in, in infection. That my hair's thin a lot this year. <laughs> At least I think it was this year. That's that's my belief. So I've noticed in some of the videos it also looks like it, it vanishes in the sun or the <laughs> video. <laughs> no, I am going too long at this point. I have to color it like almost three to four weeks or else. I'm looking a lot older, so I slick it back when it's getting too, too crazy. Like, let's just pretend it's fine, and then there's just streaks. It's fine. My my mom and my grandma both went gray in their twenties, so my mm -hmm. whole life I've just expected I was going to wake up one day and just have totally gray hair. And yeah, I don't know. It hasn't happened yet. Anti aging. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. I don't know if you've ever seen Monty Python, the Monty Python skit, the four Yorkshiremen where they're all sitting around grousing about how bad things are. I think we could do that with age here for a long time. Oh, yes, for well, sure. Well, my hip hurts. Well, my knee hurts. Uh, my hair's gone. Uh, yes, exactly. We would all be doing about it. To fall out. Uh, what doctor did you go to this week? <laughs> that we would all do it. <laughs> I actually did go to that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm being 100% serious. We could probably all do that each week. So basically, this is a Christmas special. Yeah, it's a Christmas So basically, this is a commercial for <laughs> one of your traditions, this 12 days of Ohana. And can, what can you tell us about it? Why did it I become don't, a I wish I... Why, let, let me, if, if you need me to explain that, I mean, <laughs> I wish I knew how, it, like, I don't know the origin story, I don't think, but uh, I know Jen wanted a lot of people that we were talking to on, and, and I think it was a way of trying to showcase how the Twitter. Yeah, I really don't remember, because this, so this is our third year doing it, and I don't remember like but i don't remember how it started with like we'll just do 12 days of episodes that sounds smart to do around the holidays that's we have plenty of time who's doing anything around the holidays we should do more editing um i don't know how that conversation really happened like i know how vlogmas happened because that was only last year but i can't mm -hmm. remember this but yeah i mean we always talk about our love for this community and how happy we are to have found our people and um, how great it is. And I think it was that we interact so much like in, you know, the written word via Twitter and Instagram or whatever, that it was, it would be nice to kind of sit and chat with people that we don't normally get to chat with. So it was probably something like that. I yeah. I mean, and because we, we started in 2019 and in 2018, we had done the, the switcheroo skidoo with, That's with, right. 
the monorails and mm-hmm. we we really enjoyed that so i don't know if it was built upon that and right. and, and grew from there or uh but uh, i know that there was a lot of people that were like we should have these people on and often as 2019 was pre-pandemic remember 2019 <laughs> and uh, the the big thing was like how were we going to fit into the schedule which is why we didn't have a lot of guests on in the early days is because my schedule was ridiculous and um recording so, at yeah. 11 so we, p.m yeah, yeah we would record at 11 p.m so we we're like let's make it more complicated by doing 12 days <laughs> podcasts in a row but it was great. Yeah, we, I mean, yeah, it was, it was, I went so well the first year and it was really, you know, we get nervous around, as you know, uh, Lewis and Val, we get nervous around meeting new people. <laughs> and so, you know, it was like uh, fighting our uh, own insecurity, but we left like each one of those interviews that first year going, wow, like that was really awesome. And so yeah. it, it was a no brainer to do it last year also. Yeah. yeah I, I will say we first came in contact with you guys on Twitter via mm-hmm. Follow Friday. I mean, you started, you, we found our name in your list and was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> pretty excited. And then, you know, the pandemic happened and, and the, uh, we did, the, you did the show, you and the monorails. And that was just the best. And now we're addicted. You know, yeah. we, we're a member of both of your um, clubs and <laughs> Patreon, you know, Patreon. deciding um, which, mm-hmm. You know, uh, video service to get rid of just would certainly not be on the top. Because I mean, we, we come to every time. I haven't missed one yet, I don't think. I know. Um, it is impressive. <laughs> there are times, I will tell you, we'll set um, podcast recordings up via, we usually use Zoom, but sometimes we'll use StreamYard. And we're always like, oh, I hope we kept this private and we're not actually live on YouTube right now. And I always say, if Lewis starts commenting, then we know that we hit the wrong button <laughs> and that we're actually live. Cause I know you wouldn't miss a live of ours. <laughs> he would not. And he would not miss commenting either. So yeah. you know that he's going to do that. Yeah. I like commenting. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. All right. So they can find this here. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm going to do my best not to do any editing there, here yes. because it's getting late. <laughs> <laughs> but you can find it over here on their YouTube channel. Wow. Yeah. On I suspect YouTube Jen will channel. lift this up in the scrolling, yeah. follow, immediately following <laughs> yes. this recording. <laughs> I'll move it up. <laughs> Not what's in the attic. Well, let's let's oh, just say what's in the attic. <laughs> it's a testament to how much you, you guys do, <laughs> how hard it is to find some things on this YouTube channel. <laughs> because you've got the live thing. You do every live every right now, 10 a.m. on Thursdays. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You've got Vlogmas going on. I And I was really shocked when you said you were going to actually do that because you've got this, you've got that, you got other shows going on. Mm-hmm. So um, are we, Lewis. Families, so we. apparently, <laughs> as they're all named by the how old they are. Allegedly, we got some kids running around. I don't know. <laughs> as you, as you get, as you both know, Jeffers in in our uh, Discord that's connected to our Patreon at Dillosdisresort No, 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 no plug right there. But he was joking about you know uh, that's it. That's a vlog. You know, doing the Seinfeld pitch uh, mm-hmm. to NBC as one right. of our vlogs, which I think we're we'll still end up doing. Yeah. But uh, you know, when I the next one of the vlogs we'll do in, in, coming up is just me walk. I, I w- already walked down sixth Avenue in New York city. So now I'm going to walk down fifth Avenue in New York city. And as I'm walking down fifth Avenue recording uh, last week on my way home from work, I was like, this is it. This is a vlog. And I love that. I was going to tell you, I I'm enjoying, I, I'm enjoying the vlogmas and I love the scenes from New York. Just the, the you had and right now my brain is going to go blank the store um from the other day uh um, Saks, 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 Saks avenue sure um Saks that you had that you could see the light show that they do and things that i would never get to see just on a normal you know situation and i have the opportunity to watch them and so it's so much fun to watch you just walk like the thanksgiving parade and you were looking for the balloons for Thanksgiving break. <laughs> just, just that atmosphere of being able to put those on and just feel like you're walking down the streets of New York City is thrilling to me. Yeah. So <laughs> I love those. So I, I enjoyed those a great deal. Yeah, I saw the day you put up the the one the Christmas tree in downtown New York. Mm-hmm. I was in Franklin, Tennessee, doing kind of the same thing, but <laughs> so many less people there. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> this tree, that tree. I mean, it, and that's a, kind of a huge tree for a small town. I mean. 
Yeah, and I was over there over by Rockefeller Center the the Mm -hmm. first the opening night because Eddie had just lit the tree and because that was what we joked around with. Jen failed like on the first day of vlog, (laughs) and I failed on my second day vlog. I was like, oh, I was leaving work, and I was like, let me just go walk by the tree real quick. I couldn't even get near it. So when I did finally get it for the vlog, uh, whatever day Mm -hmm. ten, eleven, whatever it was, and I was like, oh, there's not a lot of people here tonight, but I'm sure from you. (laughs) So it doesn't also. Whoa, look at the amount of people. No, I love that. I also have a question about one because I was watching the one where you were showing uh, Mama and Papa Dillo's house. Yeah, have they always been that? That have they always decorated that much for Christmas, or is this something that they've done more recently? Or is that was that your childhood just having these massive decorations everywhere? It's grown over the years. Um, I, I we always had decorations, and they were kind of the old seventies and eighties plastic, you know, Santas, and we had this the sleigh with Rudolph and Frosty and all of that. Um, and probably once like blow ups came to be a thing, and you know things. I feel like Papa Dillo kept just stepping up his game, and every year he just keeps going, and we're like. Where are you putting all of this? I don't understand. <laughs> like he came back from this season and he's like, oh, uh, I got that 12 foot uh, Mickey train. And we're like, what? Where are you putting a train? What are you talking about? Like uh, he just keeps going and adding more. He did say yesterday, he's like, I got two more things to put up. I'm like, where are you? What? <laughs> what are like, they? And like where the are Osborne they going? Christmas lights. <laughs> yes. The Dylan's Christmas lights. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. I think Disney is a huge Disney, uh, you know, not maybe less so uh, the Magic Kingdom at Christmas time when we started going. But I think the Osborne lights especially influenced his it's OK to overdo it. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you can o- overdo it and it's OK. Uh, yeah. I, I, that definitely speak that 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 sent him on a path. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yeah. It's and amazing. I think now having grandkids like it's it's hard this time of year because we don't get over there as much as we would like, like in between Thanksgiving and Christmas, there's just so much going on with all of us. But I think he loves the idea of like, I mean, all three kids running around go, Oh, it's a winter wonderland. And they just like go crazy and run and look at all the decorations. And he, you know, loves that part of it too. So yeah. (laughs) I think if we had more competition with our in-laws, we probably would do the same. (laughs) (laughs) They live Two and a half hours away, so it's yeah, it's quite a drive. <laughs> yeah. You live in the same town. <laughs> All right, before this turns into a hostage situation, we just <laughs> wanted to say we love this tradition. We were glad to be a part of it last year, and we want you to take as much time as you want to plug to at least two or three people. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Where they can find you and and Jenna, you plugging? Which no, you you're do only, it. only on about <laughs> fifty-seven <laughs> services. <at the> last <laughs> sure. So, uh, theme park Thursday, uh, the podcast with us, Dillos Diz, uh, every Thursday, um, on your favorite pod catcher on Thursday mornings. We typically on our YouTube channel over at YouTube.com/slash Dillos Diz for Theme Park Thursday Live, uh, which is uh, thirty minutes, three topics or subjects, and we just run through them real quick. Secretly, we'll just say this out loud to you guys that sometimes we think this is going to be that will be like the first half hour in the future for the podcast and then we would do an interview on the other side we're not we, we never get there so <laughs> that, that's actually the big picture scenario um after that theme park thursday live we often go over to our patreon which is at dillos Diz resort.com for a, a post show uh so a lot of things happening over there hoping to expand the resort and the offerings at the resort in 2022 hopefully having something coming come up at the end of December that will be the uh, launching pad for that and uh, I'll leave it at that get the, the YouTube the podcast the Patreon I think those are the three main things we do lots oh, of what about our social media they tell the good stuff on the Patreon <laughs> sometimes we go down roads we go how do we get here I don't know <laughs> oh, and, and, sometimes and just, <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Um, I, would, I had you on to talk about one thing we've done like 17 yeah. tangents in 10 minutes yeah. so yeah. <laughs> exactly <laughs> we're just to come on for like five or ten minutes okay <laughs> uh at delos days twitter instagram tiktok trying to do more tiktoks along the way here we both have tiktoks now at genilo talk at improving frank 
not improving Frank, uh, improving Frank. So, and uh, we got a Facebook page too that we don't give enough love to. Yes. <laughs> you just want to add a few more. Do you need to? You, you have plenty of time to like well, pick up a few more things, right? We'll also be setting up a meet and greet. now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's. I mean, we did say we'll that. We'll be going last on year. tour in 2022 <laughs> and hitting the big cities. <laughs> I'm really hoping you do the New York meet and greet. That would be. We wanted. Yes, I mean, I know. You know, boy, last Christmas we definitely thought, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. So yeah, oh, it's still on the list for sure. Yes. Oh, yeah. But there's so much that we have. So many places we have to go. We have to hit all the How I Met Your Mother places is all the yes please. i mean yes so many things <laughs> i know i was so excited when you mentioned grace papaya because i was like oh, that's a real place because that's oh, yeah. i have flown yeah. through new york a lot but yeah. i have never had the opportunity to visit new york city oh, um, mm. and and so it's been a, a dream of mine yeah. for a very long time and so <laughs> we were supposed to have a layover there when i was in high school we were uh, actually coming back from europe and um, we had tickets to see cats because it was supposed to be like like a 12 hour layover. And so mm -hmm. we had this whole day planned and a snowstorm was coming in and they oh. decided they wanted to fly out as many people as they could get out before. Mm -hmm. And so we ended up having to fly out as oh soon gosh. as we landed. And I was like, no, oh man, so I, I've always wanted to go. All right. We'll, we'll get cool. you there, Dr. Bell. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely cool when you find out things are real in these yeah. TV shows. <laughs> like if you watch the Dollywood hollow, um, Hallmark movie, right? Some of the you see are real places, <laughs> but Very, not, it looks not nothing awesome. like about half that movie because Very sad. it's still cool. I mean, yeah, and they still talk like they're Dollywood, but right. you know, a lot of the places aren't really, aren't really there. It's a <laughs> yeah. most different place. Man, that makes me sad, Lewis. It's got um, I, in it. <laughs> well, that's true. That's all, all that matters, really, right? I will say, uh, speaking to this 12 days of Dillo's Diz Twitter, Ohana, that um, well, social media, Ohana, I guess now, um, that you guys were a part of. We do very much appreciate all of your support. You guys are always there in the live chat and you are commenting on tweets and Instagram and <laughs> part of the Patreon. I mean, you're everywhere and we really appreciate that. And uh, I, I love that we met in person and we were all like, uh, hey, um, and now we like talk all the time. And so it's just such, <laughs> such a different world where this pandemic has brought us. <laughs> it really is. Well, you know, you guys have just been, you, your content is amazing and we enjoy every bit of it. It's, it's, that's, that's the thing is that we're amazed that we are friends with you now because we were such fans, <laughs> you know, to begin with. So, um, so we just have enjoyed all of your content so very much. And so we appreciate all you do because we know it's a lot and we know that it's really hard to do so <laughs> as we have during our year of COVID and emergency surgeries tried to start something it's not yeah. easy to do yeah. so. no it, it's and these interactions been. that keep us going so yes. that I mean that's a big that's a huge huge part of it I think without without like the interactions we have with you and so many others we wouldn't we, we would be in a different place 100%. yeah <laughs> and I will say you and the, and the monorail both have been big inspirations I try not to do everything you do. <laughs> you know, I had to look up to make sure Vlogmas was something everybody did. <laughs> I don't want to just be stealing their ideas. I was Ooh, thinking about calling the rumor. Our podcast, you know, theme park Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> and then I realized, oh yeah, it's the Dillos that have one already. There's room for everyone, Lewis. <laughs> There's we only all share seven, the love. There's seven good ideas in the world. <laughs> Vlogmas it just happens to be one of them. I don't. That's right. If you want to start the rumor that we started Vlogmas, though, I mean, by all means, you know, we'll go with well, it. Well, honestly, yours <laughs> was the, the first Wikipedia I ever page. watched last year. Oh. So I was like, I thought you did. I mean, I didn't <laughs> know it was a thing. I learned, but yeah. We'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Well, I'd like to say thank you one last time, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> you got to say it. Oh, say it. deuces. There you go. <laughs> <Sorry. All waiting. laughs> I don't can consider it completed until you said that. How long do we have to wait for that? I know. <laughs> Forever. Forever. I can't Forever. hear that without hearing that way either. It's like, I know I really will no. pitch the. We have so many. Um,